Hello, this is Ali from SafeNet Has Technical Support. Uh, when enveloping uh, a .NET application, uh, usually we can, uh, in most of the cases, maybe uh, trust the envelope to uh, def have to use the defaults for which are the methods and the classes uh, that uh, are to be uh, protected. However, there are many cases where I would like to uh, have control on which are the classes and for each class or method, what are the parameters that I would like to uh, define. For instance, for instance, if I would like to have uh, a different feature ID or not once per program but more than once per program or use something else or uh, code obfuscation, etc. So if I would like to control and I don't want just to uh, use once again and again every uh, method in the list I can use uh, what we called uh, it is, is the envelope runtime API or in the envelope API uh, you can find it in C program file SafeNet Sentinel ASP samples envelope envelope runtime API uh, runtime.net and over here it's uh, the file uh, net envelope API PDF which explains uh, about it. Generally speaking, we will use this uh, API, ASP uh, Envelope DLL, uh, and I will show you how to use it. Uh, we take, uh, let's skip it now for now, and I'm going to uh, Visual Studio uh, project. Uh, this is like uh, the same as the, the vendor application. Uh, there is an application here, but in order to be working with the envelope API, what I do is I copy uh, the Aladdin ASP envelope uh, reference DLL and add it into the references and then also uh, add its uh, namespace over here uh, Aladdin ASP envelope. And now here I have a, a namespace with several classes, class A, class B uh, and the main program and uh, in each class I have uh, perhaps uh, one or two methods. Now what I do is uh, I use uh, the uh, customer attributes uh, like this one and by using the customer attributes with the, this reference DLL I'm able to define for each one of the classes and the methods how it is going to be uh, protected by the envelope. And let's see what the, I did here. Uh, there is a, a default uh, for this assembly. Uh, envelope method protection attribute protect uh, is false, which means that by default, unless I defined otherwise, all the assembly, all the assembly is not going to be protected. Now, for class A, before uh, defining the class uh, A, I defined the envelope method protected attributes protect is true, encrypt is true, and obfuscation is true. So that means that for this class uh, everything that uh, resides inside will be uh, with these parameters. But I can also uh, have uh, in, in front of this uh, method defined that this method display will be uh, not only protected but I want feature number one uh, to be uh, to have uh, uh, the display uh, which means every time I, I will uh, use display feature number one will be verified in the in the ASP key uh, so I can also define check every time uh, that you call this display function method uh, feature number one will be verified in the disk in the ASP key connected uh, and and so on. I can go to another class and and have and other definitions. For instance, for instance, I can define that uh, for this method, feature number two will be used. For the other method, feature number five, etc. Now, after uh, compiling it and getting into the XC, this is the XC that uh, was done uh, using this uh, application. Now, if I if I use it inside the envelope, let's uh, add it into the envelope. I can see here that by default all uh, no okay now I get uh, a problem that Aladdin ASP envelope cannot found so this means that I also have to add the Aladdin ASP envelope DLL over here and now let's do the same 
which means let's take this uh, application over here let's do it once again so I can make sure that it is working fine so if I drag it over here and uh, now I get uh, no warnings and what I see here is that all uh, the classes and the methods here are grayed off and I'm not able to uh, make any changes why because uh, all these uh, settings has been done uh, through the envelope API and I can see for instance if I go to display I can see on display uh, that it will uh, be used it's even uh, difficult to see exactly what what are the definitions because it is uh, listed uh, in a, in a great uh, way but I can see for instance displays is, here is five I have this displays as one and for each one of these methods and classes it is already defined and what I can uh, do now is only to protect it uh, and so this is a, a very nice way to use a uh, .NET application uh, inside the envelopes without uh, having to uh, change every time the classes and methods obviously it is more important when I have changes in my uh, source code with more classes uh, more uh, methods etc so I don't need each time to uh, use the envelope GUI to make these changes hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening and watching